Hey all, in this video we are going to create a placeholder model of a standard skateboard bearing. This is the common name for it and is probably the most widely used bearing in the world. Quite a number of manual wheelchair casters use this bearing. There's a number often stamped on the side that says 608-2RS, which is commonly misquoted as being its part number. That is in fact part number for the seal that is on the bearing, not the complete bearing unit. This seal is used on a variety of other bearings. The bearing's dimensions are 22 millimeters outside diameter, 8 millimeters inside diameter, and 7 millimeters wide. You might ask, why do we want to design a bearing? You can't print that, right? This is of course correct. A printed bearing would not last long at all, but it's useful to have to check clearances when designing parts that use this bearing. And it's a very simple design, which will teach us a lot about how to use the part workbench in FreeCAD. I apologize in advance for the pacing of this video as it goes quite fast at times, but you can pause it as needed to follow along if you're trying to copy the design. One other glitch is that it turns out the screen recording software I used for some reason does not record the drop down menus I sometimes go into. I have one or two more videos coming out with the same issue. I will be sourcing different software to solve this problem and will still tell you what I'm going to be doing on screen. Time for a few reflections. At the very beginning, the tool I use to measure the bearing is called a digital micrometer. They are widely and cheaply available and absolutely necessary for accurate measurements to be taken. The most common mistake you may make is forgetting to convert your diameters to radius when changing the size of a cylinder. It can throw the rest of your model off if you don't catch it. So go slow and confirm your measurements. When you are performing a cut operation, the first thing you select will be the object to remove material from. The second thing you select is what material is going to be removed from the first thing you selected. When we started designing the seal cutaway, you'll notice I only shortened the height of the first cylinder to half a millimeter. I did not shorten the height of the smaller second cylinder. That is because it's being cut away. So the fact that it's much taller doesn't matter. That extra material is in the void, not in the base material. 
Another thing to note was the fusion we performed. Did you notice the two discs were not physically touching when we fused them? That's okay. They don't need to be. They will become one part even though they are not connected to each other. Conversely, if you try to cut one away from the other, the result would not look any different because they don't intersect at any point. I would encourage you to go right back in and start playing around in the part workbench. Try out the shapes, mess around, and have fun figuring things out. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.